Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a project share to share with you guys and I will have a tutorial. And I will have a tutorial link down below. It is not my tutorial, but there will be one link down below by Tiffany in case you guys want to make one. And guys, this is such a fun album to make. I love this. I've been dying to make this kind of album. And I was like, Tiffany, you need to finish making this tutorial because I need to make this album with the Boho Baby collection. So she had previously done a ton of different albums in this style. She's done like a wedding one. I think I saw maybe a Halloween one. I can't remember. And then she recently did a Boho Baby as well but she made it more for a baby girl because you could make this paper for baby girl or baby boy. And I made mine into baby boy. So if you guys are using the same collection, at least you guys have two different kind of options to see whether you wanna make it a baby girl or baby boy. But this was definitely a lot of fun to make and I love this style. Okay, so this Boho Baby collection is new from Simple Stories. Um, it is fairly new and I love it. I had to buy two of the collection kits. For this album, I did end up using the whole entire collection kit and I think I used like four other sheets of paper, like double-sided paper that I bought single sheets of. This album does use quite a lot of paper. It is definitely on the heavier side of an album and it's more of an, it's an album and not like a folio. So it's got three um, signatures in here. And I did make my spine a little bit bigger than Tiffany's and I'll tell you guys, um, what size mine is but mine's a little bit bigger because I was also planning for like photo space and whatnot so that you could still add photos in here and obviously this could expand to be flat so you still have room to grow um so let's just go right into it I'll have the collection kit linked down below one of my favorite baby collections and I love that it could be boy or girl and it's just it's so stinking cute so in the comment section down below definitely let me know what you guys think of this album of the style album as i'm showing you guys what it looks like on the inside and also let me know what you guys think of this paper do you love it do you hate it what do you think of this boho baby collection i'm in love but i mean let me know your opinion too i'm curious to know what you guys think so this album is an eight by eight size album so eight by eight for the two chipboard pieces front and back and then my spine is one and I think I was trying to make it one and three quarters. Yeah, my spine is one and three quarters by eight. So I think Tiffany did hers one and a half. I wanted to make mine a little bit bigger just so there's more space for it to grow when you add photos. On the front cover here, I have this cut apart that says love you to the moon and back. Um, I did some stitching here. Tiffany, don't be jelly. You just got to learn how to stitch already. It's really easy, I promise. And <laughs> she's, she's always commenting like, I love your stitching. I want to stitch, but she's like, I don't sew. Um, I added this foiled paper in the background just as a layer. It's the gold, not, not the gold. I think it's the rose gold or no, it's called the copper, I think. The copper foil from Michaels in the back with like a light, um, minty kind of color bluish kind of color in the back behind that that's just from my stash i have these stickers from the collection that says hello baby welcome to the crib and i left this open when i glued this down and i added a tag tuck spot here so you could journal on there at the name of the baby at the weight and whatnot and i did pop it up on a little bit of foam um dimension i think no, not foam dimension. I just used scraps of paper and layered it on the sides just to pop it up a little so this comes out very easily. Um, and I added an eyelet to that. You've got some enamel dots. And then this is another sticker from the collection that I just popped up on some dimension as well. Stitching around here and then zigzag stitching around the whole thing with more of that copper kind of foil paper. I've got my seam binding here and here and I think throughout. This is from my scrap cabin shop. You could find all the colors you need to match any collection in the world because she's got literally all the colors. So um, definitely check her out for all of your seam binding needs. The spine here looks like this, more with the copper kind of foiling, the zigzag stitching. And then here is the back. So the back, I did a little bit of paper piecing here. 
Um, I used some leftover like scraps that I had from the collection. So these ABCs, the cubes, love this paper so much from this collection. And it's just got the cute little animals. I love it so much. And then more of this paper on the bottom that was here and on the front as well. So just a little bit here with my handmade kind of logo sticker. So when you open this up, it looks like this. And so Tiffany has the layout and everything to show you guys how to create all the pages. I actually also changed up the order of my pages. So mine is going to look a little different. And because I think her first page was, what was her first page? I think her first page was this one, I want to say. I think this was her first page and this was her second. Or maybe, no. Or maybe this was her first page. I can't remember, but I switched up the order a little bit. So here you could just add a large photo. I was thinking like the day, you know, um, you're bringing the baby home or whatever, or the day the baby's born, add that here. Maybe here you wanna do the day you bring the baby home, like a newborn baby, and it says, little one, I love you, ABC. Now you can see there's some coral kind of colors in here, but I stayed away from the pinks. There is some papers that is purely like pink, um, but I stayed away from those since I was making it for a baby boy. As you could see here with my blue um, paper that I added in. So this just looks like that has a cut apart, a scrap here. You could add a photo here. You could add a photo here and do journaling or just add one large photo or just do journaling and add another photo here or just do journaling on the back, whatever you want. You could also add another photo here. You could tuck in more photos because this is a pocket as well. So you could always tuck in more photos and this um, does magnetize clothes. There's a magnet right here and right here. So that magnetizes clothes, but you could tuck more things behind that and obviously tuck photos right behind where it magnetizes. So that's super fun. I didn't add anything in these pocket pages, but the recipient could add in more photos in here because they all are pocket pages. Um, here I have another photo mat and this is gonna fit a four by six photo. Some decoration here that you can tuck a photo behind because it's not stuck down completely and it's popped up on some dimension. I use the photo corners like Tiffany does because I was like, oh, that is so cute. So you could just pop this out and replace it with a photo or you could just put a photo right on top of that and pop it in together so that you could also still have the white border in addition to that craft border. So whatever the recipient decides they want to do. Um, then this is magnetized and this flips to the right. Then you've got this. I did a little bit of paper piecing here with this floral paper and a little strip of blue, which I think turned out just fine just because my paper wasn't that long, um, but it looks super cute and plenty of space for photos. Now, Tiffany here added another photo mat here, but I like giving people the option of whether they wanna add like maybe two photos or one big photo, or maybe they wanna add photos here and do a little bit of journaling here. Like there's so many different options. So I only added in a couple of photo mats on the outsides where you would add in like a photo, but obviously there's many options within of how many photos you could add and what size you wanna add. Then here on this side, I have one of the four by six cut aparts and it says how wonderful life, life is now you're in the world. I wish there was a little bit more cut aparts also for boy, like this one, if you look closely, the background is very, very, very light pink. Um, so I had to pair it with another kind of um, darker paper where you couldn't see the pink so much because it is a light pink. So I was hoping by pairing it with the dark, it would kind of brighten this up and make it look more white. Um, which I think it worked out well. Um, then you flip this and I double matted on many of the pages you could see with the craft color card stock. Um, I think Tiffany matted hers with pink for the baby girl album, but I did craft card stock and I used up all of my craft card stock too. And then in between the signatures, I did that um, copper foil color. Anyway, so this flips open. You've got this here with the photo mats. So you could take out this photo or put in another one right on top of it and leave that border. You could add another photo right here, which I would definitely do so that you have two photos when you open this up, just lining it up with that cut apart. Then this also flips open and is magnetized. So that looks like that. Here you have a journal card and then you could also add more photos in the back, add a photo to the back here. 
Um, and you could tuck that in here. There is a magnet. Where is my magnet? Right behind that. So right there, there's a magnet and down here, there's a magnet. So that stays closed. Then here, this cut apart flips open, reveals two more spaces for photos. These do not have photo corners, but you could just stick a photo right on top. And then there's a hidden kind of like tag um, tuck spot right behind that as well. So you could just do some journaling if you want to add your two photos here and then journaling on that little like tuck spot. So that's super cute. And then this flips back down. Again, there is a pocket page here, so you could add in whatever there. Then you've got another photo mat here. And again, you could just take these out because they have the photo corners. Then this flips to the left. You've got a little journal space here. I would use this for journaling. Um, or you could also use this part for journaling and then add another photo and then add a photo here. The photo here, I'd probably do this size and maybe a couple here. I wouldn't do too much here because I like seeing that paper personally, but it's up to the recipient. You could also add one larger photo here going across these two panels if you wanted to do that and then use this one as a journal spot and then another photo there. So there's many different options for that as well. And then here you've got a pocket page that also flips out. So here you have a cut apart that says Born to be Wild. This one is magnetized. So it magnetizes to that front piece and it kind of just stays there. So it doesn't flip around in the page, in the pocket. So this you could pull out. I have another decorative paper here and the blue for writing or journaling. And that's what that looks like. And you could also add some stuff to the back. There is more things in this pocket. Another cut apart that is double matted, just like this one was, but this one was craft. This one is the copper and flips open like so. Photo journaling. And then I also have an insert here like this. And they all just live in this nice size pocket. And this is pretty spacious pocket. <laughs> so you could add a lot of goodies in here. And then this one again just magnetizes to that front page wherever my magnet is. All right, so like I said, this one just magnetizes to that front page and kind of just stays in place. Then this page is also magnetized this um, back here and this flips open to the right. So when you flip this open to the right, these don't move because this front one is also magnetized, which is really nice. You could add full size photos here, like really big blown up photos, or you could do a couple of photos on each page. You could do like one, two, three, four and do journaling in between many many different options like if you add a photo here add a photo here you could do journaling here you could do journaling here you could add a full size photo like depending on how many photos you want to kind of put in um depends on how many obviously you're going to fit like depends on the size of the photos and then here you have another pocket page and then back here you've got this pocket here so i put a little sticker that says cute and cuddly You've got this journal space, or no, this is a photo mat. This is a cut apart here, and this is um, a photo mat here, and it does have the photo corners. So you could just slide that out and put in your own photo. You could also add in a couple of extra photos here in this pocket, but not too many, because this is not a gusseted pocket. This flips to the right, and you could add more photos and more photos there. And that's that page, and then another full size kind of photo here. So very fun and spacious album for a baby boy. Definitely check out Tiffany's tutorial and her project share because she did a girl themed version with the same exact paper collection. So you guys could see like how you could decorate it in different ways to make either a baby boy or a baby girl. So I'm going to have Tiffany's tutorial link down below. I'll have Tiffany's um, project share link down below so you guys could check that out as well. Um, again, just remember that I did make mine um, spine a little bit bigger than what Tiffany did just because I like that extra room for people to be able to add photos um, and just to have like that wiggle space. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next crafty video. Let me know what you guys think of this collection and the album. I hope you guys love it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.